Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And I want to answer a couple questions real quick that have been posted on my videos about the um, Unify Express and the Unify Cloud Gateway Ultra. And uh, the first question that we are going to answer is, does the Cloud Gateway Ultra or the Express have a battery built in so that if the power gets unplugged, it does a graceful shutdown? So right now you can see that this is my uh, Express. It is, it is booted up. And what we're going to do real quick is we're going to unplug the power and see what happens. Immediate shutdown. That is also what happens with the Unify Cloud uh, Gateway Ultra, Ultra Gateway. And I would bet, though, that Ubiquity is doing something different under the hood uh, because I don't believe that they would put out these devices that if the power kept going in and out that these things are going to get uh, the database is toasted. Could be wrong, but I just don't see them begging that kind of trouble, right? But no, there is no battery built into these devices. The other thing that has come up is can I adopt these into a multi-site environment? And the answer is, well, for the Ultra Gateway, no. For the Express, is it depends. So let's talk about that. So I'm over here at the store, and I've got the Cloud Gateway page pulled up, and I have the Gateway page pulled up. Now, Ubiquity has a lot of devices, and sometimes this gets a little confusing. But... For everything that is on the Cloud Gateway page, so that's the UDM Pro, UDM SE, DreamWall, Dream Router, and Cloud Gateway Ultra, they all have to be their own gateway, their own unified network application. You cannot adopt these into an external controller. The exception is the Unify Express when it's running as an access point. If it's running as a gateway, you're not adopting it anywhere else. Right, so if it's an access point, yes, it can be adopted into another controller. If it is running as the gateway, no, it is adopted to its own unified network application server. So anything that you see on this page when running as a gateway is adopted into its own locally hosted unified network application. Now, on this other page, we have the UXG Lite and the UXG Pro, fantastic devices. These have to be adopted into a Unify network application that is either running on a CloudKey Plus, a CloudKey Enterprise, using the official Unify hosting, which if you are doing cloud hosting and you're not maintaining it, we are recommending the official Unify hosting at this juncture because Ubiquity is a publicly traded company. And if they were to have a data breach, they have certain laws that they have to follow, whereas a private non-public um, business, they sometimes skirt around those a little bit. And we're going to get into that in another video real soon about who you should trust to host your Unify controller. Now, that being said, the other question that comes up, can I adopt a Gateway Lite or Gateway Pro into a cloud gateway? And the answer is no, because with Unify Network Application, you can only have one gateway per site. So now if, if you are invited to or you're an owner of a unified network application that's hosted on a cloud key, Ubiquiti's cloud, wherever, you're you know, maintaining it on your own Windows, Mac, Linux server, wherever it's at, if you're invited to that uh, and you're, you're, or you're the owner, you're going to be able to manage both your Unify cloud gateways and the regular gateways through Unify Dot UI dot com. So you can manage all these from the same web interface, although it may not be within the same network application. Because, like I said, you cannot adopt the cloud gateways into a self-hosted um, controller unless you are using the Unify Express as an access point. So I know that's a lot. Ubiquity right now has a lot of choices when it comes to gateways, right? So just as far as cloud gateways go, we've got six right here on this page. The standard UDM is no longer here. Also, the USGs have now all been moved to vintage products. So the writing is on the wall for the USGs. 
Let me repeat that. The USGs have been moved to vintage products. The writing is on the wall for the USGs. So plan accordingly with you and your clients. Then you have two more gateways here. So uh, if I just had to do like a quick down and dirty, you know, the standard gateways would be more for like MSPs or if I'm managing everything from one console. And see, I can't even really say that because the cloud gateways, you can manage them all from unify.ui.com, right? So we the lines are a little, little blurry. Um, price is a consideration, build. A lot of people don't like to put all their eggs in one basket. So, you know, really it's, it's up to you and each case is going to be unique at how you build these out. So I specifically wanted to address those two questions. If you've got any more questions about this, let me know down in the comments and make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, comment, share, follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Those links are down below along with affiliate links and a link to our community. Come on over, sign up. Join in the conversation, and also if you need IT consulting, head on over to willyhow.com, fill out the contact form, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here, and as always, I'll see you in the next video.